Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we are playing some Mono White Magecraft today. Uh, this is going to be one of the more competitive decks that we're playing for the next little bit. Uh, super excited to be playing it and I tend to play a bunch of other really janky stuff, just like things that are based around the synergies that are supposed to be there, the different mechanics that we're playing uh, and just kind of more janky stuff like the things that need to happen, like the, like turning everything into an Elder Gargoth needs to happen. So we're going to be doing that. If you guys want to look forward to that kind of stuff, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button button to support the channel also hit the like button for this video because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff here today and so this deck clever lumomancer has magecraft one mana zero one human wizard whenever you cast or copy an insert uh, sorcery spell clever lumomancer gets plus two plus two until end of turn awesome stuff we also have a little light scribe that says two mana two two whenever you cast an insert sorcery spell all creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn the two of these cards are busted as long as we are casting one or two instance of sorceries each turn we have a ton of power like 10 to 12 power on the board by turn three easily and then by turn four we can cast some crazy stuff like uh, where is it where did it go show of confidence two mana whenever you cast a spell copy it for each other instant sorcery spell that you've cast this turn you may choose new targets for the copies and put a plus one counter on each uh target creature on each on on target creature against vigilance until on a turn it, it's just it's just really good stuff you can end up making a bunch of different copies of this for each copy that we make it also creates the plus two plus two or whatever so we can just go crazy and do fun stuff so that's the main idea of this deck is we're gonna go crazy and do fun stuff by casting a bunch of one mana spells so these are all of our one mana spells defiant strike fight is one guiding voice which goes and helps us to learn so we have a a learn sideboard here as well um and so yeah there, there we go we, we have those uh, I've never seen this. This is new. What, what is going on behind me? This is something. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about that later, I guess. Uh, and then also uh, Wings of the Cosmos, which can give us our flying. So it's pretty nice stuff here. We also have a bunch of instant sorceries with our creatures, with Fairy Guide Mother, with uh, Giant Killer. Also, the Lice Bounty just give protection for a Cliff of Lumomancer as well. Uh, and then we also just have a bunch of good spells in the two drop slot as well. So Jerry Shelters, Kabir Takedowns and our light scribe and then the three drop slot we have a few other just good value cards from strixhaven i wanted to showcase them off and, and have some fun if you guys want to play a little bit cheaper version of this one you don't need to be playing the elite spellbinder mavinda is amazing but you also only need like one copy of it so if you found it cracking packs it's great you can definitely just add in a bunch of other cheaper creatures there are a few other uh cheap creatures you can play if you if you're trying to turn this into a, a free-to-play version or something a little bit doesn't take as many uh uh wild cards because honestly there's so many mythics and wild in wild cards for this set that it's it's insane so i'm going to be trying to at least talk through uh different ways that you can be building decks in the beginning of this uh if you guys ever want to click ahead to the gameplay links down the description below uh for the timestamp uh, it also is on the, on the thing to be clicking ahead to the next stuff I, i'm going to be diving into decks a little bit more for people that are trying to actually get some good stuff eager first year well it's not amazing or bust or anything like that it still is a decent two drop for the stack and so you can place that any other just one drops that aren't really expensive or not rares is just good as well like any other one drops that work with leon and light scribe but i think that you do need to at least get the four rare cards for leon and light scribe and clever Lum and clue loom answers uh uncommon stuff to be able to make this deck work otherwise just cast a bunch of good spells and things should be fine it this this deck should work pretty well not running too many rares this is a very good artisan you know or, or free to play type of deck so let's go and jump the gameplay see how it does for us and wish me luck here we go up against the crew cuts clan uh we're gonna mulligan this hand cool dude and this is a better hand keep this we'll drop um i'll see the last we do want creatures with Lone and light scribe but i also want to draw some cards here show of confidence is so good but only works if we actually cast more things so i think i'm actually dropping show of confidence i think i'm going to play out a one drop here and get Lone and light scribe out later or Let's, let's go compare takedown tapped. We're going to play Fairy Guide Mother and I'll see uh, out here. Hopefully we find a clever Lumomancer. This is a new uh, map. I, uh, this is the first time I think I've seen this. This is pretty cool looking. Yeah, I think we go all seed and fairy guide mother here. Get both of them out so that we can play Leon and Light Scribe. If we hit a land, we can also defi a Defiant Strike, draw a card, pump the team, hit it for more damage. Life is good. Oh man, Meyer Triton's annoying though. Well, let's go Leon and Light Scribe. Swing in with Fairy Guide Mother. Pass the turn. We definitely want to draw a card here. Or draw a land. 
we want to draw a card. That'd be really nice, you know. Oh, that's pretty good. That's that. That ain't bad. All right, swinging with Guide Mother. These Mario Trains are annoying, but we're also kind of setting up for some pretty busted stuff here. Hitting another land would be great. Fiend Artisan. We aren't running that many lands in this deck, uh, but we still, we we're running more than this. <laughs> and this is showing right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play out Gift of Fey onto Light Scribe. All right, we're gonna do a little, a little bit of damage here. <laughs> Just hit for nine, why don't we? We don't have the protection with Alsi because we can't find a land, but down to 13, still pretty decent stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, Land lets us play Guiding Voice and Show of Confidence or, you know, a few other things. I think next turn we might just still get up for a Guide Mother just to keep hitting in more damage face. Because we can't get through these guys. Hmm. How many lands do we have? So I have MTG Assistant here uh, who just can tell us a little bit more about that. If you guys want to check it out, link is on the description below. It is awesome. That's a land, and we are going to play a land. Although I could play it on black and get in again for how much damage I did last time. That seems pretty legit. I could also try to draw a card here. All right, let's put this onto the Fairy Godmother first. Let's draw a card. They have removed it, which is get blown out here a little bit. All right, Wings of Cosmos, actually pretty flippin' awesome. Does that give us lethal? It's pretty close. I want to see how many lands that we have. We, we have a lot of these kinds of lands, the shelters and whatnot. All right, that's lethal. Holy crap, <laughs> this deck is busted. That was a really bad draw. They didn't have any removal, but we also played pretty wide. And so even if they had removal, it had to be like board wipes. Uh, and that deck just wouldn't have that kind of stuff. Um, that was just two spells. And we didn't even hit him with our team. Oh my gosh, this deck is gonna be scary. All right, up against the Revenant and we have Clever Lumomancer. Life is good, we're gonna keep this hand. All right, Clever Lumomancer, pass the turn. I guess technically, if we're not planning on casting a spell next turn, we should be playing out all Utilize Bounty instead. Because then we can at least hit in for damage while we play this out on turn two. Because really, we're setting up for like a really awesome turn three play, is what we're typically doing with this. Um, Vinda makes Show of Confidence really awesome. Howl of Priest, cool. Guiding Voice. I think makes it worthwhile to play out All Seed and the Guiding Voice here. That gives us another spell to cast, so yeah, let's go ahead and put a counter there. Let's grab another spell. We might go Environmental Sciences just to help us find more basic lands. Um, I have more sideboard cards in this. Are some only available in best of three? Is that what that was saying before? Like I have more, I had more of these before. I might need to go check out our <laughs> our sideboard because did they just did they just create some new rules I didn't know about? Because it said there were some for best of three and some that weren't. Are we only allowed to have so many uh, lesson cards in our in our sideboard? We might have to go check that out. <laughs> All right, well, let's go environmental sciences. Grab a planes. Swing in with Lumamancer. Hit for three. Um, I think I'd rather hold up the protection here. Pass the turn. Down to 14. They are going to be gaining life here. That's not good. Okay, on to Lumamancer. We protect it from white. We have Kabiri Takedown to take down something here. Mavinda is also pretty sweet stuff. Maybe we just go Elite Spellbinder though. Play out a creature. 
Yeah, let's do that. It's a good flying creature for us here as well. Uh, no banishing light for you. Lone War Leader is a little bit scary. But I think we should be fine. Uh, do I want to play out Kiberi Takedown? That's good removal. I think that we're trying to win without that, though. Okay, pass the turn. We have Mavinda into casting Guiding Voice. We do have a flyer. We would love for you to attack in instead. Please do. Yes, yes, yes. Because because we, we win when you don't block. Yeah, no blocks. Okay. Oh, and a light scribe. Oh, boy. Uh. All right. I think we just win here, right? I'm trying, I'm trying to think of how much damage we have. We have Fairy Guide Brother in to show confidence. That's three spells. We have one, two, three, four, plus six. So we have 10 damp. Yeah, okay, we, we, we win. Okay. Cool. Fairy Guide Mother, show of confidence. We'll go there on this one. Sure, why not? We can actually put all the damage onto the Elite Spellbinder. And attack in for 14. Alrighty then. Good stuff. Dude, this deck just wins out of nowhere. It's so good. All right, I'm against Silmarion. I don't know what's going on with our lands. We only are running 16 basic lands, but these are the lands we should be drawing. Okay, we finally found those ones. I'm not sure if that's the right way to be playing it. Like, honestly, I I, I got really risky playing this style here. Uh, what do we want more? The shelter for protection. We only have so many creatures right now. So yeah, let's drop a Kibira. And... We'll go ahead and play out Lumomancer. Because we have Guiding Voice to help us find another land, potentially with the Lesson card there. I, I forgot to go rebuild my le my sideboard Lessons. Okay, Guiding Voice. Attack in. Down to 17. Drop a... We can actually play Kibir Takedown on this guy next turn, so... But do we want that over a land? Perhaps. Passion order. That's a land. Oh boy. We're in good shape now. Mavinda on the next turn. Yeah, okay. All right, get rid of that dude. Swing in for three. And Passion order actually gains some more life. So in some ways, it would have been better to kill this instead with the all seed there. All right, we get to play out Mavinda and kill this soonish. No blocks. We need another creature though. There you go. All right, let's it through because they thought we had a spell. Perfect. Bell the Lord Light Scribe, sweet stuff. Righteous Valkyrie is scary though. They are obviously playing lots of angels and clerics. That's cleric. Gains them a little bit of lives. All right, so land gives us the takedown. Oof. Actually, it has to target something that we control. Never mind. We don't get the takedown out of this. I can target one of my own guys at some point though if I need to. Okay, Mavinda. Have to activate the ability. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile here. Is it? Is it better than playing out another clever, Lim Lu clever Lumomancer right now, though? That's an interesting choice. Yeah, I think so. Let's keep the damage rolling. More cards to hand, more things to cast and do. Um, let's put this onto All Seed so we can attack in here. So they can double block one of our dudes.
Can I lose Lumen Light Scrape here? We get in for an extra three points of damage. All right, we'll hold off. Down to 12. Angel of Vitality gains a million and a half. Holy crap. We need to kill this Righteous Valkyrie so bad. Come on, Kabir takedown number two. Giant Killer, not quite there. They have to gain more life, actually, before we can make that work. <laughs> as weird as that were, as that is. Uh, okay, Clever Lumomancer. It's a Sorcery Speed. I'm going to Mavinda. It gets two counters. Let's go here. I want to attack in a little bit more aggressively this time around. Swing, swing. Swing. Okay, down to 10. Keeping a lot of bodies on the board. Past the turn. The Vinda can block fairly well. Another Righteous Valkyrie. They have one more creature. We're in a, a little bit of trouble. We don't actually have a target for the Giant Killer right now. I could tap down stuff, though. So I can cast another expanded anatomy right now. Hit for a bunch and a half. I can actually give protection from some stuff. Um, I can play out another little light scribe and play out out later. I can play out giant killer as well and go super wide. Pass the turn. Plus, is still swinging with the light scribe. I don't know. Cosmos Elixir gains some life. That's fine. They're up to 21. They're going to have to block on this next turn, though. Hopefully, we find one more one drop. That's the dream. Shelter. And I can cast it again. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. What things do I want to protect the most? Uh, probably the things that I actually don't want them to block. So, shelter... Ah, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll still do it. Okay. Um. Protection from white. Okay. Protection from white. And opponent scoops it up. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, we there's some issues with this stack. It, it needs to be fine-tuned and, and, like, cleaned up or something. Uh... But man, that's good. All right, so it looks like uh, you have to choose which things are in best of one, best of three. So it looks like they're they're changing our best of one sideboards to be only seven cards instead of fifteen, which I actually agree with. I think it's I think that does make some sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of replace these ones. I think we're gonna uh, you know take this one here. Um, we would definitely want a mascot exhibition for in place of this. Uh, reduce the memory. I don't actually think is one that we want that much anyway. Environmental sciences we definitely like. Um, we only need one of them. Um, introduction to prophecy, maybe. Academic probation is probably the best one that we can have. I, I think I think that's pretty good right there. Debating if I want to have the ability to remove stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and throw this in here and take out um, introduction to prophecy. I think. Mascot Exhibition. Yeah, we're not going to be casting that anytime soon in this deck. All right, there we go. All right, up against this guy. And um, Lone Light Scribes with Fight as One and the Guiding Voice to go dig for some stuff isn't the worst. I mean, honestly, two Lone Light Scribes is fantastic. I definitely would prefer to have a one drop here, but we can hopefully find that off the top. Um, only having a seven card sideboard. 
changes so much. Yeah, so that that's what we just found out. There is only a seven card sideboard um, now in the for best of one. Best of three has 15, which makes a lot of sense. We drew all of our expensive cards and zero of our lands. Again, yeah, we definitely need to fix the mana base for this deck. I think we can trim out on some of the three drop slots for like two or three more lands. And they'll probably be pretty good. All right. Cats versus dogs. Bring it on. No blocks. Come on, land. Come on, land. So I can Guiding Voice and go find the card that gives us a land right now. Hold up. Fight is one. I think it's better than not letting ourselves... Like, uh, we, we just get so far behind if we don't do this right now. So, uh, where is it? In rental sentences. Just do it again. Yeah, it's another spell in hand. Why not? Active probation is pretty good for us to just kind of get out there. Uh, we might just want to draw more cards, though. Just have something else to help us out. We know that we have Mavinda, so being able to cast these extra times is nice. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Swing in for six. We're still technically losing the race at the moment. Apparition. Yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting that in a dog deck, not gonna lie. That was that was kind of a surprise right there. Come on, land. Deck! <laughs> oh boy. Alright, very much sciences. Grab a land. Play a land, play clever Lumancer, pass the turn. So what we can do is we can play out Little Light Scribe next turn, hold up fight as one, uh, defend and kill some stuff. And hopefully that's enough. Do they have an Ember Cleave? Oh boy. Wow. Are we dead? It's really close. Uh, we are dead even if we throw out blockers next turn. Yeah, this is just a little bit too slow. Bummer, man. Uh, yeah, we, we need to fix the mana base. I'm not going to do it in the video, but we do need to fix the mana base in this deck. All right, I'm against Ogletron, and keep this. We have some lands, so let's go ahead and get some of them out here. Uh, shelter first, pass the turn. Yeah, our deck doesn't want to be playing tapped lands. I do like having these kinds of lands available to us, but I don't think that's in general what we're trying to do. Fairy Guide Mother, do I want a Guiding Voice right now? We can play it again with Mavinda. Let's just get some stuff out of the sideboard. I think we do. And they are likely to play Heartless Act in this matchup, so. Uh, let's go Introduction to Prophecy. Pass the turn. Hunt for Specimens, okay. Do you wait to play Mavinda until you have um, other things to cast? I'm not really sure. I guess when we have two of them, it doesn't matter quite as much. Now we probably want to create a, a chance to play lots of show of confidences. Um, so that we can get lots of spell, lots of counters onto these two guys. Village rides, draw some cards, gain some life. Uh, activate this only once each turn, but that can also mean their turn. This is instant speed as well. This is sorcery speed. Okay, pass to my turn. Uh, 
Um, okay, yeah, play Light Scribe. I think we actually play out tap uh, the Kabir takedown now. Attack in. We, we want to be able to cast more spells on a turn. Um, what we can do is we could cast Show of Confidence and then cast it again from the graveyard and get three of them, three triggers altogether. Good stuff. Even just Introduction and Guiding Voice isn't bad either for next turn. If we hit land, we can play guy. Uh, no, we can activate it only once each turn. Okay, they have to sacrifice this, uh, sacrifice this at the beginning of the upkeep, so that's fine. They're just having a blocker for the light scribe. Um, ooh, that's good. All right, light scribe number two. Um, let's cast the guiding voice. I'm assuming they're going to be playing some heartless axe, so let's go ahead and get a counter onto this. Um, grab. Academic probation could be nice to stop things from actually blocking. I feel like they're gonna have attend the pest though here soon, which is a little bit scary. So let's go. Let's go expanded anatomy. Swing, swing. Down to six. So they have to sacrifice itself. They have village rights now. Okay. Up to eight. Yeah, show confidence here should be the game. Um, if we have anything that gives us flying, that's of course better. If they just play removal here, then the Lunar Light Scribes win the game. They have to play a blocker and removal. Getting close. All right, sweet. We got it. All right, uh, show confidence. Oh, man, it's so good. And then activate it again, do it again. Yeah, good game. <laughs> oh, that's so much damage. There's, there's definitely quirks that we're missing with this deck right now, but... Oh boy, when it goes off, it is so good. All right, up against Contrix and keep this. Man, we're always with the two lands. That is what this deck wants. We only have like a few three drops. I, I think I probably need to trim down even more on these guys. They are nice though, at times. Okay, Leon and Light Scry, pass the turn. At least Spellbinder next turn, and then we have three spells to cast with this. <laughs> Ooh, Lore. That seems good. At least Spellbinder. Probably should attack in first. This is probably going to force him to use removal now. Veto. Redain is a little bit annoying because if it's whenever we target. Hmm. Redain is actually not that bad. What do we stop him from playing? Veto doesn't bother us too much. But they, now they only have one creature they can cast at any time, and we can block at any time, or like, we can trade off with stuff really easily there, so we're good. Okay, pass the turn. Finds a Griffin Airy, nice, into Light of Hope, very nice. The nice thing about this Spellbinder is another human for us with the uh, fight as one, as well as just being a good play in general. See, now we're drawing all of our lands. This is what could happen sometimes, you know? Um, the Sorcerer's Speed. Okay, now let's go. Leon and Light Scribe. I could grab, like, Expanded Anatomy here. Hit him for a bit more there. Um, I could play another creature out. And that gives it the extra damage we need. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's reduce the memory. Um, its controller creates a 3-2. That actually, I'm fine with that too. They can double block Leon and Light Scribe now. Let's just swing in here. Okay, 
Okay, down to 17. I, I read this wrong. I was thinking this. there's another spell that just gives you a 3-2, and I apparently don't have it. So, you know, that's cool. No blocks. Down to 17. Giant killer. Castle Ardenville is also not the worst here, so let's just swing in with everything. I think we do just hit for six here and play Castle Ardenville token. Pass the turn. So the tokens are really good with it for us with the Leon Light Scribe. We can also hold the Giant Killer here in case they do find a way to get Righteous Valkyrie to a busted state. All right, we will keep Leon Light Scribe alive though. Did I have lethal there? I might have had lethal. Because I could have given them indestructible and then use giant killer. I totally forgot about that line of play. I think I had lethal when they didn't block. It was, it was uh, maybe not enough, but it was close-ish. No, 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 I, I, I wasn't that close. Things in for three, no blocks, that's fine. Down to 11, pass to my turn. Didn't have enough for the castle. Clever Lumomancer, um, their life total is gonna be low enough here that I don't think we care too much about some of the other stuff. We're probably gonna end up playing out the giant killer here. So let's go Wings of the Cosmo. Actually, wait, do I wanna wait for this? Hmm. I'm acting like I have another really good spell here. And they they, they read it. Nah, that's fine. Hey, okay, pass the turn. I just don't think that they're going to have things get up to, you know, four power very quickly or easily. Unless they have like a, what's the, what's the, what's the other angel that's terrifying? That could be bad. Swings in with a 3-2, I believe. Is not, okay, Kabiri takedown is nice. Do I kill Vito or the Redain? I can tap something down as well. Instant speed here. Okay, tap down, I think, Righteous Valkyrie. Tack in. I want to try to kill something here, basically. All right, we get to kill a couple things. Uh, no, I don't end up killing. Oh yeah, I do get to kill the redeem. That's right, because Lumen Light Scribe. All right, sweet. Your board's gone. Another righteous Valkyrie into Veto. Oh my gosh, is that like dead? We're taking six, eight from the hit. So dumb. <laughs> Wings of the Cosmos. Instant speed. I can also use that to untap and block here later. I have the giant killer to block some stuff or tap down something here. I think I need one more blocker. 
I can untap and block with it on a light scribe as well, right? Yeah, so let's let's go ahead and swing in like this. Okay, pass the turn. Dude, just so many life gain spells. This is this is ridiculous. That's so dumb. <laughs> so Age of the Destiny uh, with Vito, we're just dead. It's it, they gained twelve life and we lose twelve. Uh, yeah, I mean, we did like probably 30, 40 points of damage to them, right? They just gained so much life. Uh, and we just didn't have the right kind of removal for what they're doing, doing there. That's fine. Up against Joker plays, um, only our three drops. We're on the play. Elite Spellbinder is pretty decent. Man, this is not the typical hand we want, but I actually get three lands in hand. So we're, we're going to go and try this out. We're going to test out a couple different decks for you guys, obviously. Play out the shelter. That's not a creature either. We can totally put a creature, a counter onto this and let us draw a card from the sideboard. I forget that we can also just filter here if we don't want stuff from the sideboard as well. Okay. Pass to my turn. Um, to be able to block this, let's throw out Mavinda first or do I want the Spellbinder first? Let's go Spellbinder. Take a peek at that hand. Swallow hole. It's actually kind of bad for us. Let's make Baji Solidarity a little bit more expansive. No blocks. This does get vigilance still end of turn as well, right? Okay. Okay, clever Lumomancer. Um, oh my gosh, dude, pass the turn. Some people I just hate sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, we, we're trying to dodge around the swallow hole. Swallow hole is really annoying for us. They can play Bazi Solidarity now, put counters onto everything. That's fine because you still get to kill all their stuff. I'm playing this out because we know we have another one and we have the uh, Lumomancer here anyway. Um, yeah. All right, 24. Let's go. Hmm, let's see here. Guiding voice. Let's go environmental sciences. Show of confidence, give both of these guys uh, vigilance real quick. We can still cast it from the side, from the graveyard with Mavinda later, so. And that's a lot of damage. So, you know, down to 11. And now we can probably kill them before they have a chance to play Swallow Hole. Envoy's victory's Envoy. Come on, you know we want to attack in with that Raptor. Yes! Yes! Oh, the greed is so great. Oh, I love it. Okay, uh, is this lethal? It's pretty close. Environmental sciences. Get a land, play the land. Fairy guide mother. I think it's lethal. Yeah, it's definitely lethal. Boom, bam, baby. And I, I want to do the, the sleep emote there just for this guy. Because, oh, man, some people <laughs> bug me with that. All right. So in the wrap up for this one, uh, the deck is really good. I mean, this is the first edition of it. And let's see how many lands we have. We have 16, 17, 18, uh, 22 lands in the deck. I didn't feel like we were we were like. We have 22 lands in the deck and we were not running into them that often. There there was one game where I ended up uh, waiting. Or sorry, this isn't. There it is. Career takedown. There it is. 18. Uh, 
Yeah, so 22 lands. I, I I did play a Kabir takedown accidentally instead of playing it as a land one time, so I ended up not showing that game because it was just like, okay, I messed up. It wasn't interesting enough. Uh, and so we ended up going uh, five and three with the deck altogether, which is still really great stats. Uh, let's see where, yeah, let's pull it up here. Um, it, yeah, definitely not a bad one at all. Um, and so six times on the play, which is good for this deck for sure. Uh, still 50% win rate on the draw, which is nice. Um, the biggest times, the, the games that we lost, I think were the games that we just did not find any lands. Actually, we won a lot of games where we didn't find any lands as well. So I, I don't really know what's going on. Like, I'm not sure if you need a million lands in this deck or if this is deck just, is just busted enough. I think what you should probably do is you probably drop down like one elite spellbinder, um, I don't think you drop a Mavinda. Mavinda was so good to add a land and maybe like, I don't know, maybe one could be a takedown for one more land here too. And then we probably should try to find some way to have more rem removal in the deck as well, uh, or ways to tap down creatures. And so there's also, um, um, honestly, I think that Castle Ardenville, the two mana to tap two target creatures would be fantastic because you can... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's really good. You can even target your own stuff if you need to, like something you played out that's that's tapped, so you at least have uh, creatures to target. Uh, and it's up to two target creatures, too. I think you can technically not even target anything and still get the cast trigger if they don't have stuff. So it's not a dead card. It's a good three drop, but it's also a two-mana spell for you. So I think Castle Ardenville, like any of these cards are really good, and any of the adventure cards just are so busted with this uh, in general. Um, on alert, maybe isn't the worst either. <laughs> I don't know, untap it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think Mono White Magecraft is going to be a really scary deck in the future. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this because you probably are going to hate it in the future. <laughs> and uh, see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and bye-bye.